Monitoring and Managing Processes. Starting a process in Bash is as simple as executing a command. Some processes, like echo in this instance, start and end almost immediately. Other processes, like sleep, take some time from start to end. Sleep takes an integer argument and makes the terminal fall asleep or become inactive for as many seconds. Notice when I run sleep as I run echo, I do not get my prompt back immediately, but I do after three seconds when sleep is done. Running sleep this way is to run sleep in the foreground. That is, I can see all of the effects of sleep on the terminal. I have another option, which is to place sleep into the background. I place sleep in the background by placing an ampersand at the end of the command. When I do so, I'm given a job ID and a process ID with which to track the progress of this command. Placing sleep or any other command that takes time into the background is advantageous if I want to continue to work from the terminal. You'll see here that I've executed sleep 3000 in the foreground, which means my terminal will now be inactive for 3000 seconds. This is undesirable if I want to do anything else on this terminal. I'll kill this process running in the foreground by hitting Control C. So a couple of things happened at this point. Number one, I killed Sleep 3000. It's no longer running. Also, the last process I placed in the background, sleep 3, I'm given a status report on it. See the job ID 1 matches up with the job ID here, also 1, and sleep 3 is done. If I put Sleep 3000 into the background, I have my prompt back immediately again with a job ID. It is the same job ID that was given to Sleep 3. However, because Sleep 3 stopped running, that job ID can now be reassigned. And now points to sleep 3000. And then I'm also given the process ID for sleep 3000. Since my command is running in the background, I'm free to execute other commands. So what if I want to keep track of the progress of sleep? I have a couple of commands which allow me to do this. The first is PS. PS shows me all of the processes running at the time I execute PS. You'll see that I have an instance of bash running. That is, I have an open terminal. I also have one instance of sleep and I can confirm by the process ID that this is my instance of sleep 3000. 
I also have an instance of ps. ps, the command which shows me these processes. ps is running during the time that this output is produced. And so we see ps as a running process. However, ps has already completed. If I enter ps again, you'll see once again that I have the same instance of sleep compared by the job IDs, but a different instance of PS. Notice the different job ID, I'm sorry, process ID, for each instance of PS, the two times that I execute PS. The other command I can use is jobs. Jobs tells me that I have one job running, and that is sleep 3000. I can confirm by the job ID that this is the same job executed right here. You'll notice that job does not output anything about bash, and it wouldn't be outputting anything about ps, but it doesn't output anything about jobs either. You can think of jobs as being comprised of one or more processes, and the outputs of the two commands are different. We've already seen that if I want to kill a job running in the foreground, I can use Control c If I want to kill a job running in the background, I can use the process ID along with the command kill. I'll give kill the process ID of sleep And we see now that the job, sleep, the process, was terminated. Let's say that I have multiple instances of sleep running in the background. And I want to kill them all, but I don't want to enter all three of the process IDs to kill. One option I have is to use the kill all command. And I'll type in here the name of the command to kill. And you'll see that all three sleep jobs, all three, were terminated. If I accidentally start a process, in the foreground that I meant to start in the background, I can place it there by pressing Control Z and then BG for background, followed by percent sign and the job number as the argument to BG. We see that sleep is still running. Likewise, if I place 
a job into the background and I would like to bring it to the foreground, I can type FG for foreground. And again, the percent sign and the job ID. And now the terminal is inactive for 200 seconds. Unless I press Control C, which I just did. My first instance of sleep is still running.